Yeah, well, well, you know, I never would ask you, right? But those Brooks Brothers jerks down at every bank downtown, right? They say I don't have the collateral for a loan that size. So I says to them, if I had the fucking collateral, I wouldn't need the fucking loan. Yeah, it's tough doing business with people you don't know, which is why I'm going to help you out. Oh, shit. You'll do it? Yeah, but let me make it clear. This isn't a loan. I'm investing in your business. Hey, all I want is five large rock. You get 7,500 back in 10 weeks. And 5% of the take. Hey, you won't be sorry, okay? It's going to be real classy. Like, I'm going to add another dining room, and I'm going to expand the kitchen. And I got my eye on this chef from Boston. Eddie, my father eats here for free. Sure, Rock. Where do I sign? We don't sign. The minute I put anything down on paper, my thieving manager comes around for his 50%. It's between you and me. It's between you and me. Give me a cup of coffee. Hello. Hi, Barb. Hey, where are you? I'm in Chicago. All right, Rocky. What are you still doing there? I thought you were coming home. Uh, yeah, I know what I said, but I, I got to go to Vegas first. Uh, I'll be home in plenty of time for tomorrow. Come on, baby. You know how much this means to me. Barb, this is the last time ever. I promise. This is the big one. Twenty-five grand cash. That's enough to put us where we want to be. I just want us to be together. We will be. prior to his hospitalization in death. I never did nothing to nobody. I'm, Barb, I'm late. I gotta go. I'm sorry. So I didn't understand why all these tricks were being played on me. I'm being locked up here for reasons other than you think. And I just want certain people to know that they're the real ones who need help. Another fighter pays the steep price. Hey, hey, Life is a square. So you hear about Lewis? Oh, yeah, it's a shame. He's a hell of a guy. Yeah. I can't believe a guy like that winds up in some loony bin. You know, after everything he did for the government during the war, and then they got to turn around and take every last penny he's got? I'll tell you, Rock, you were smart to get out of it when you did. Did we pass Denver yet? Congratulations, Rock! Hey, Rocky. Only one piece. Right? Surprised he doesn't want 50% of the cake, too. Yeah. They're gonna make a new class for me, Alf. Overweight. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast to the newlyweds. May your love last from bell to bell. Ah, Rocky. Rocky, you uh you got yourself a beautiful bride there. And uh, Barbara. What can I say? You'd have been better off buying a dog. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously though, Barbara. I would like to um officially welcome you as the newest corner man in the Marciano camp as we slug our way to the heavyweight title in the world. Rocky, gonna do it! Oh, and uh, while we're on the subject, I would like to tell everybody here that just a few moments ago I received a phone call formalizing Rocky Marciano's next bout. All right, three months from tonight, in Madison Square Garden. The Brockton Blockbuster will face none other than the legendary Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. How could you do this to me, Al? Lewis retired with the belt. The second he unretired, they made him the number one contender. This is an opportunity you cannot pass up. No, it, listen, it, Walcott, Charles, anybody no, but, but Lewis. I mean, fighting Lewis is the only way you're going to get the world to forget about that Lestarza. I beat Lestarza. You want a shot at the title? Yeah. Fine. Beat Lewis. Beat Lewis? I'm not even going to fight Lewis. Listen, you ungrateful punk. This is not about you. What you want? 
I've got a lot invested in you, and it's time I got paid. You don't want to fight Lewis? Fine. You go down there and you tell your family you're finished with boxing and you're moving back home. Maybe you can take your old man's job at the shoe factory. Beautiful wedding, Mrs. Machigiano. Complimenti. What's going on? Hmm? I don't know how much clearer I could be. I gotta start training now. Yeah, well, the fight's not for three months, and we just got married. Most people who just got married go on a goddamn honeymoon. No, most people don't have to fight Joe Lewis. Papa, I gotta go to the camp. Sit with me for a moment, huh? I gotta go. I gotta leave. It's for you. I gotta go. Oh, man, me and the other be staying here at the main house, and, uh, see the cottage over there? That's for you. I want you should have your rest, you know, your privacy, uh, whatever. And, um, got your, uh, gym equipment over here. Look, regulation ring, huh? The works. Yeah, and you got the Prince of Wales coming up this far. How much of this is coming out of my end? Nothing. Carbo made a deal with the owners. What? He agreed not to bump them off if they packed up and left? Still want to see all the bills. This is the only time Lewis got knocked out. See how he drops his left? Look how he leaves himself wide open for the overhand right. When you try to outbox Lewis, he'll tear your head off. You gotta stay low and close. Never let him catch you in the center of the ring. You let him stay a foot and a half away, he'll murder you. And when that opening finally comes, you gotta throw that right hand with everything you got. But that's enough, Allie. No, oh, Allie, let her run. I wanna see this one, too. This don't mean nothing. It was a thousand years ago. Oh, yeah. He's still the best boxer that ever lived. You give him half a chance, he'll carve you up like a Thanksgiving bite. Good night, Irene. Going. That's it. I'm done for the day, man. Two more. Come on, two more. Two more. Good break, Rock. Cool down. You already got ten rounds. You in. Okay, you up. Good, 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 good. Now, come on. <laughs> 